Hey guys, it's Joanne here, and I thought I'd do this quick video. Finally going to give you guys the official tour of the Lady Cave. It's still not completely done, but I think you'll get the idea. I still have a lot of sorting to do. I realized I have a lot of craft stuff I have to go through, but I just want to kind of give you a tour of the room and show you some of the highlights and maybe look at some of the Dollar Tree products I've been using. So yeah, so let's get to it. Let me turn you around. Okay guys, so first we're going to look at the first wall that you see when you come in. That is the door. And so this part of the room, let's see if I can get some more lighting in here so you can see it. There we go. So this is an old chair. That just has a bunch of blankets on it. This is a Doctor Who blanket that my one of my sons got me for Christmas. It's my dog's favorite blank blanket to curl up in, so I have that on display. And then I have my nice big shelf that I have had up here for a long time. I put this together to house all my stuff, and you'll see it has one, two, three, four shelves. And so let's just take a closer look at what I have here is I have in this huge doctor room, I have a little Hello Kitty display that spills up to <laughs> this little corner cabinet here. But I have on dis display my DIY traveler notebook that I made. I have some Dollar Tree candles. We pr probably could turn those on for ambiance, right? Let's see. Do I even have batteries in them? Yep, so it's hard to tell. We have a little note paper, and then behind here we have a Dollar Tree bucket with some other little odds and ends in there. I have a little summertime. Oh, my dog is asking to come in, so we'll let him in while we're. You can come in, Duders. Come on in. Yep, we're showing them the room. There you go, jump up. There you go. <laughs> That's just what he does. So, back to here. I made this it's a little paper craft that says summertime. I made, it's made with little flags. And then I have my, my traveler notebook that I have put aside for one book to lie. I'm going to be... I may actually take that out and bring that camping with me so I can reset it up for the month. That is a good idea. And then I have a Rock This Journal. And I haven't used this yet, but I want to do that too. I have my little DIY, these aren't DIY. I have my Dollar Tree Red Solo Cups. We can click those on. For a little display action there. I have some candles up here. I have a fez. And if you're a Doctor Who fan, you know what the fez means to Doctor Who. I have all my planners up here. I have my Dollar Tree um, flower, solar flower gardens. And I found this at the rescue mission because it was blue. I have a honeysuckle scent thing, which actually does not smell unless you stick your nose right under it. <laughs> That's going to probably be in a fail video. And then these are also Dollar Tree. And what I did with these kind of things is I thought this, because I, I know I have a lot of stuff packed in this room, guys. But what I did was I took this and I turned it that way so that you couldn't see the books that I have in here. So it's kind of like hidden books. Up here I have some pictures of my best friends. I have my two stuffed animals that are Marbles, Mr. Marbles and Kermy Worm from Jenna Marbles. If anybody, um, any of you guys watch any famous YouTubers, I love Jenna Marbles. And what else? We got some more pictures. And then up here we just have some more similar to these, but I have them covered with washi tape and facing back because I have some. This is just extra... Card cardstock paper and three hole paper, etc. So that is my whole big shelving area behind my desk. I have a little basket here that has a bunch of magazines that I want to read, and I have my Kindle 
and I have a pair of earbuds. Just a simple filing cabinet here. I'm not gonna, there's nothing really exciting in there, just files and papers. I got a little wicker basket with just some odds and ends. My, um, my case for my beats, a little fan, you know, stuff like that. And then we have the Feast of Resistance, which you probably saw in my last, one of my last videos, which is my Doctor Who desk. So we'll try to, we'll try to go slow past this one more time. Because in the video, you didn't see it with all the stuff that I have on it. And then my computer is set up. And I, right now I'm charging my iPad for my trip. And there's my little transaction desk. I'll just pull that out. So yeah, so looking up closer, what I have here is you'll see I have, these are Dollar Tree buckets. And these are the Dollar Tree sugar containers. And I just, most of these are Dollar Tree pens. Some pencils, colored pencils. I have the Dollar Tree rocks on display. I have a set of the marbles inside that candy dish just for decoration. And then this was another DIY I did that I never did a video on. But I just basically took a tissue box, cut out the top, Mod podged around it, and I put this. This is one of my favorite quotes about Doctor Who that says, We are all stories in the end, just make it a good one. And I Mod podged around it, and then I can just pull in and pull out my own box of tissues. So I will have a matching box of tissues every single time. I thought that was cute. I have some Dollar Tree trays here, holding some pens, some post its. Pens I have to review. I picked this up at um, <coughs> I picked that up at Staples. I got some more markers. This is a wicker slide out container that I just have things kind of organized. My inserts for my Coletto pen. This is more Sharpies and markers, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. I have, these are two of the mason jars that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I have paper clips inside them. I have, this is a Dollar Tree um, slide out container box with different size blue binder clips, and my blue calculator that I got, and also this blue stapler that I got at uh, Staples. I had a nice blue mug for my coffee or my tea in the morning. I don't drink coffee anymore. I have a nice little simple um, business card holder that I actually put my phone on when I'm not in use when I'm when it's not in use. One of my favorite pens that I just have out ready accessible to me. Over here we have one of my lights. So this is one of my lights. I have a three light system which I'll do a separate video of. A couple people were asking me about it. This is the rest of the desk. Uh, that's my mic I use. I have a, um, if you want to, I can do a separate review video of that, but that is a um, snowball, a snowball microphone. And I even decided to decorate my Mac with a matching blue cover because I'm just that crazy. So yeah, so this is my entire little setup of my desk area of the lady cave guys still gotta vacuum the rug a little bit and then over here we have <laughs> this little thing actually normally my backpack and don't judge me but i do have a hello kitty backpack usually my hello kitty backpack is hanging up on here but it's packed with some stuff for camping so I have that there ready to go. Here's some other stuff going camping. I got this at Walgreens on clearance. It's just a Hello Kitty uh, toiletry bag that I stuffed with stuff. I have a new thing of eco tools. Let me know if you want to see these because I can do a separate video on these. But I picked these up at the local 
grocery store of mine. And then here are my purses that I picked up probably about a month and a half ago at the at the Salvation Army. These were all Salvation Army purses that I love, and I just rotate using them. I may end up selling a couple of them. I'm not sure which, but you'll see. This is what I want to show you guys. <laughs> um, so this is my closet door, and I have a huge closet door picture of the Doctor Who TARDIS on my closet. And then here, this is stuff, this is presents for Girls Camping Weekend, so I that's why that's piled up there. Um, I just have a bunch of presents that are going by. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek in my closet, because I wanted to show you the amount of purses that I have up here. And the fact that I do have a problem. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to do a video on all those purses. So here I just have a shoe container. Uh, shoe hanging bags I just have on the side of my huge baker rack and I just have a bunch of knickknacks here this I still really could sort out and clean up a little bit but I have some stuff that I still need to go through um, these are nail foils that I like to use I have to sort these out the nail foil glue uh, leather cleaner you know just little things like that that I know where things are so now I'm going to turn things around and kind of show you the craft part of my room. I've got to move my um, let's see. Okay, so this is my big baker rack. I got this for free from my brother-in-law who was doing some work for a grocery store, and they were no longer using it in their bakery area, so I took it. And I have basically put together some storage with a combination of Dollar Tree bags, Dollar Tree boxes, bins, uh, Dollar Tree square bins. Um, these are Dollar Tree folder holders, whatever you call it. Um, I got my sticker army here that is Dollar Tree duct tape on it. And then I just have things kind of labeled cards. I have a light box project I want to finish. This is all a bunch of nail stuff in here. I have my laminator in here. I have some, and then these are all my craft boxes. So this is filled with my tie-dye shirts. This is filled with leather and some leather tooling equipment. I have my two decorator bottles from Dollar Tree. This is a ton of my stationery and planner addiction stuff. This is Dollar Tree stuff. This is Hello Kitty stuff, more Dollar Tree stuff for giveaways, and this is my stamps, my rubber stamps. I have packaging supplies for wrapping stuff, and then you'll see, you'll down here you'll see I have a lot of scrapbooking stuff, so I have a big scrapbooking binder, a scrapbooking organizer tote. I have some more rubber stamps here and some acrylic paints. Down here I have, this is all nail stuff. This is more paper stuff, paper stuff, paper stuff, paper stuff. Oh, down here are all projects. This is all archive stuff, family stuff to make scrapbooks and memory maker things. This is more paper and this is some photos down there and then over here in this little corner I have just another little sorting bin again with more craft stuff to boot and then let me flip you around here this is my crafting table so this is where I let me see if I can move this light around again you guys can see this area so this is my crafting area and I have some Baskets that are on my wall just to hold all this is the stuff. I got to sort out guys still not sorted out, but I have tapes tapes <laughs> Miscellaneous little bitty things. I have cutting utensils here This is some more little scrapbooking supplies pens pens and markers shit ton of Mod Podge 
some Dollar Tree sorting bins to put stuff in, some more stamps, some mini washi tapes. That I gotta show you. That's a DIY fail because that is very noisy. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. I'm in the process of putting on the final coats of my DIY second planner that I'm mailing out to my winners. So, so yeah, so this is where I do all my crafting. I have a little bit of a um, some old scrapbooking pictures up above. I use this for like a border, which I thought was kind of a cute idea as I found these square frames at Christmas tree shop eons ago that was the same size as a 12 by 12 scrapbook. And I just took my favorite scrapbooking pages and put them in for like a little decorator um, thing. I have a little corner shelf. Over here is another poster, Doctor Who poster. I have a little... Um, visioning board here that I went to. I went to class and did a little visioning board. I haven't really finished that, but I just put that on display. I have a mirror. This is a couponing bag. This is a big, huge supply cabinet that has a bunch of Dollar Tree bins and yeah, so all kinds of things in here sorted out depending on what type of supplies I want to use. I got extra bags down here and some down, down here we have some in the bottom shelf not very exciting i have some computer supplies and then i have a huge tray here of um, lots of supplies for painting paint brushes and so on and then here this is a this is another area i still need to sort out so be patient with me but this on top of the shelf i actually have an old printer tray I just want to show you here. This is really kind of neat. I basically got some, whatever, what's this? This fake glass, plexiglass, cut to size, and I'm filling it with little knick-knack thingies, and I want to fill this all up. So that's kind of one of my goals, is I want to fill this up with all kinds of stuff. don't have much in it now. just have little odds and ends. Um, I have a old boom box, of course, that doesn't work. Some extra organizing supplies, some extra baskets. I have some markers, crayons, you know. This is a typical craft room. What can I tell you, guys? What can I tell you? Down here, I just have some envelopes, a shredder, and then this is the bag to my lights that my lights come in. So, yeah, that is it, really, in a nutshell. So that is the Lady Cave. I don't know if this was worth the tour or not. You tell me, I'm telling you, it's not very fancy at all, but it's my room. I have fun in it. I'm having fun going through all the stuff. You know, it's it's a funny, it's like, it, I look at the shelf and I've sorted through so much stuff, but it seems like there's still so much stuff here. I think Wesley would probably agree. I still can condense quite a bit, so... This might be a fall project, but for now, at least I know where everything is. That's important, and I can get stuff done. So that's what makes me happy. And this, and my favorite part, of course, is <laughs> Cosmo's hiding. Hiding in the Doctor Who chair because he's a good boy. Look at him wagging his tail. <laughs> he knows I'm talking about him. Is my Doctor Who desk. I love that desk. So, and by the way, for those of you who watched the video, I put an annotation in the video, but I just wanted to make an additional comment is that after you do anything like this, any furniture like this with Mod Podge, you have to cover it with a coat of shellac. So please make sure you do that. Otherwise, the stuff will eventually end up sticking. I also did three coats, two or three coats of the chalkboard paint, and I did rub chalk on it. So this can be written on with chalk if I wanted to. So yeah. So that is it, guys. That is the tour of my room for today. So it is hot in this room. My hair is a mess. I pretty much look like a mess because I don't have any makeup on, but who cares? So that is my tour of the Lady Cave. I hope it was to your expectations. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like the room? What do you like? Do you want to see more? Of, do you, is there something that you want to see more of? Let me know in the comments below, and I will be glad to answer any of your questions. Whoops, it's saying I can't.
I'll be glad to answer any and all of your questions with regards to the lake. So I'm going to sit down here for a minute and see if my dog comes up here. This is my... <laughs> Cosmo saying goodbye. Yeah. So this is it. This is my lady cave. Thanks for hanging out with me in my lady cave for today. I'm glad you took the time to stop by. If you want to hang out with me more often, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will sit here and wait for you to do it. Go ahead. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Anyways, you guys have an amazing rest of your week. Be awesome. And guess what? I'm going to chat with you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Whew. It's hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Whew. Bye, guys.